Hi everyone. Uh, today in this video, I will discuss about simple microscope. In this lecture video, you will learn what is simple microscope, its different parts, its function, and how it works. So let's start the video. First of all, we have to learn what is microscope. Basically, microscope is a laboratory instrument which is used to examine an object. Suppose uh, this is a microscope, microscope looks like this. I think all of you can be here. Actually, I think all of you seen this structure. So microscope basically is a laboratory instrument which is used to study basically tiny object small object which, which we cannot see in our naked eyes this is called microscope there's two terms we have to be familiar uh, sub one is microscopy m-i-c-r-o-s-c-o-p-y what is this the microscopy is the science of investigation small object and structure using a microscope uh, actually the process by which we investigate a study by examining small object using a microscope is known as microscopy the process actually and another term is microscopic what is this the small object small object which we study small object which which we study using this microscope is known as microscopy so this is the microscope now there is two type of microscope one is simple microscope and another one is compound so in this lecture video we learn about this type of microscope only simple microscope so let's start this now we will learn about uh, what is simple microscope. Simple microscope is a type of magnifying glass which has double convex lens with a short focal length. You can see here you see two lens, double convex lens, here is one another one lens, and here is the second lens. So Simple microscope is a type of magnifying glass that has a double convex lens with a short focal length. Uh, we can give some example of simple microscope we use in our daily life, uh, like instrument like hand lens, and another one is reading lens. Now in simple microscope, an object is kept. This object, the object is kept near the lens. It is lens. It is called objective lens near the lens, and then its principal focus with an ob image is produced. And principal focus means here, an image, actually large and magnified image of this tiny object will be produced. This image, the produced image, will be larger and clear as compared to this tiny object. The image which is produced at this end of microscope is formed, formed is virtually and cannot be projected on a screen like a real image. It only in case of simple microscope. There are other different types of microscope we will discuss in uh, my upcoming videos. But in case of in simple microscope, you cannot project this image, this produced image on screen. Now we will discuss about the magnification power of a simple microscope. The magnifying power of a simple microscope is given by the formula m equals to 1 plus d by f where d equals to the least distance of distinct vision where f equals to 
focal length of the convex lens. <laughs> now, if we want to increase the magnifying power of sample microscope, the focal length of the convex lens should be small because the smaller the focus, focal length of the lens, the greater will be its magnifying power. So, focal length should be smaller. The maximum magnification of a simple microscope is about 10x, which means that the object will appear 10 times larger by using the simple microscope of maximum magnification. So, this is the simple magnification uh, power of a for simple microscope. Using this formula, we can calculate. Actually, using this formula, we can calculate the magnifying power of a simple microscope. Now, we'll discuss about the parts of a microscope, simple microscope. Bas basically, there are two categories if we divide. The first one is called the mechanical. Mechanical parts. And the second one is the optical parts. So simple microscope parts are divided into category. One is mechanical parts and another one is optical parts. Mechanical parts basically called those parts which supports the optical parts basically and help in the adjustment for focusing the object. There are different types of mechanical parts. Uh, basically there are two types of two. Uh, one is called metal stand. Metal stand. metal stand this person actually this person is called metal stand this person it is a heavy base plate and a vertical rod fitted to and which provide support and stability to other parts of the microscope so this part actually holds the other parts like this this part and this part also it holding the all the parts of a microscope and the second part is Second part is stage. This stage part is this person. This person is basically called the stage. The stage part is but it is a rectangular metal plate. It may be is a it may be circular, maybe a rectangular, depend on the company of microscope. So it is a type of metal plate fitted to the vertical rod. It is fitted with the vertical rod and it has a central hole for light to pass from the pillow. You can see there is a hole. If we zoom, you can see there is a hole through which light passes. Light goes. Yeah. Slide with a specimen to be observed is kept on the stage. The slide, which is slide containing specimen should be placed on this stage suppose this is a slide in such a way that the specimen remains just on the central hole so the specimen should be in this central hole portion so that light can pass through this specimen and we can see the specimen here some microscopes have a pair of slanting wings wings projecting from both sides of the stage. They provide support to hand for manipulating the object. Now let's talk about the optical parts. Optical parts of simple microscope. The first part is called eyepiece. This person is called eyepiece. It is the lens that is used to study the samples and is placed at the top it has a magnification of 10x to 15x basically it is the magnification power of this lens the second part is tube this provides support to the microscope it basically holds the uh, eyepiece and the objective lens 
the next part is objective lens this person is called the objective lens these are found with the magnification of 10x this very uh, there are present three lenses 10x 40x and the 100x magnification power and are color coded the lower power lens are the shortest lens and the highest power lens are the longest lens uh, this is the shortest you can see this lens is 10x probably and it is the 100x and this one may be 40x you can see by what observing this image now the next part is called let me the next part is no space this person basically this person actually called no space nose this this is also known as the tar turret uh, turret actually t u r r e t it is used for holding other objective lens as you can see this nose piece or this portion holding this objective lenses and can be rotated while doing the sample uh, also you can rotate this nose piece uh, to change the magnification power of the objective lens suppose you want to switch from 10x to 40x so you have to rotate this nose piece portion so the lens will be switched now let me use this now the next part is called dark brown it is located actually beneath the stage it's called dark brown what is the function of this part it is used to control the amount of light that passes through the stage actually it controls the amount of light which passes through the stage actually there is a knob you can uh, slide it to reduce the amount of light or slide it back to the increase the amount of light now the next part is let me stage clip actually this two clips there are two clips here and here there are two clips these are called stage clips actually these stage clips are used to hold the slides in the proper place so if we keep uh, let me clear this first of all if we keep the specimen slide here so basically this stage clip uh, hold these slides in a fixed position so that it doesn't move now the next part is chorus adjustment no it is located actually this one chorus this person is called chorus add just and no it is used to focus on scanning basically it used to uh, to create a clear image of the specimen and the next part is called the fine no actually this person this node is called the fine node or fine adjustment node it is also used to focus on oil when we use 100x lens objective lens uh, we have to use the oil immersion oil uh, during this step we have to use the fine node to focus on the object now uh, there is another part lens which is called the condenser condenser actually located at this portion beneath this stage and there there is a lens uh, which is used to focus the light on the sample and 
400x power lens are used for this. There is the condenser. Lens, condenser lens and its power is 400x. Now discuss about the, now let's discuss about the use of simple microscope. It basically used in pedology to study to study soil particles it also used by dermatologist to find out various skin disease it also used in microbiology to study samples of algae fungi etc and it also used by the jewelry to get a magnified view of the fine parts of the jewelry so these are the basic use of simple microscope and i have provided a link in description from here you can get the notes related to simple microscope you can check it out thank you